You might think about skipping this ad. Don't. What happens next will make you tear up. Wait, you're still here? I mean, great, looks like the trick worked. You see, when watching videos or browsing online, you are likely to encounter content that is loaded with emotional language and with good reason. Playing into emotions, especially negative ones, such as fear, anger, or contempt, is a trick to get you to pay attention to something when you otherwise wouldn't. It's likely that's a big reason why you're still watching this ad is because you were lured in by our use of emotional language in the very first sentence. Research has shown that expressing emotion is key for the spread of moral and especially political ideas in social networks. So let's say when you're writing a headline and you're trying your hardest to manipulate your readers to click, one thing you can do is pepper your headlines with a bunch of emotionally charged words. Call it a horrific accident instead of a serious one, a disgusting ruling instead of a disagreeable one, or a heartbreaking twist of faith instead of an unfortunate coincidence. That way you're likely to reach more people and influence their reactions. So let's see how this plays out in real life. Let's take the following headline from the movie Anchorman. No emotional manipulation at play here, just to the point, no-nonsense coverage of such an important event in history. This headline, on the other hand, see what they did there? The writer used an emotionally charged word like revolting to describe a whole group of people. Are mutes people? Oh well, you get the point. They're fear-mongering. So whenever you feel outraged or angry, remember, someone may be pulling your strings. Don't be manipulated. Truth Labs, the whole truth and nothing but the truth.